Good morning, my name is Mark Pesci and welcome to the next 100 seconds. Surveillance is odious. No one likes being watched. To be watched is to change what you do because you know you're being watched. And for that reason, it has been a state power for thousands of years. We keep people under observation when we don't trust them or we suspect them of something, or when we just really want to harry them so much that they lose any of their agency and really be confined to just looking around corners to see if there's eyes watching them. Surveillance is a powerful technique. And now we're being asked by the state to use technology to surveil ourselves. In Australia, that's the COVID Safe app, which uses Bluetooth in order to be able to check to see how long you've been around other people, and then can be used for tracking and tracing contacts if someone comes up with a COVID-19 infection. And we all understand why we're being asked to do this. We all understand the value of doing this, but we all feel it little strange because it's coming directly from the state, that the state is asking us to do it. And it's one of these situations where you have to accept that the reality of the disease and the threat that it presents is actually greater than the odious nature of the state asking us to surveil ourselves for our benefit. And it's gonna be hard. But adults have to make hard choices all the time, choices where there are no real good solutions, just solutions that are better than the alternative. And that's 100 seconds.